Oh, the truth about Omar Suleiman is about to come out right now. His true colors are about to come out right about now. That's what you guys are here to see, right? God, man, doing those pagan guffar rituals. How dare you, bro? And you call yourself a scholar? You call yourself a scholar? Someone who is here to promote the deen of Allah? How shame on you. Shame on... Is that how you thought I'd start the video? Is that how you thought that I would speak about people? You must have me confused for someone else, don't you? Or you must be new to my channel. Welcome. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. It's crazy how much clout and how people build their platforms by speaking negatively against others. I'm not saying that you can't make commentary type of videos on people, but it's basically like people getting big from bringing other people down. It's, it's something crazy, isn't that? That's crazy. That a lot of people have built their platforms on criticizing and bringing down other people. The Messenger Salsan would enter a gathering. He would enter a gathering. By the way, this video is sponsored by Sindeed. This video is sponsored by Sindeed. I have other sponsors too. They're coming as well. But just saying, you know, I'm wearing this. I'm feeling it, bro. I'm feeling this stuff. I like it. I like this stuff here. I like their shoe. These are my shoes, obviously, but just, just throwing that out there. The messenger salsa would be in gatherings. Link in description. The messenger salsa would be in gatherings. And um, people would start chatting about him, saying negative things, things that are nasty about him, wrong things. Look at this. Where no one, no one is free from being criticized. No one is free from being slandered. The messenger, the best of humans who walk this earth was slandered. The bad part is, the sad part is that it's Muslims doing it to each other. That's the real sad part. And the truth is that that only exposes the hypocrisy in our hearts. I digress. And a companion, a companion would be with him. And they would say something so ratchet, so wrong against the messenger Salasana. And the companion would get upset. And the messenger would leave that gathering. Now the companion is left with two choices. Do I stick with these people who are insulting the messenger and show them what I'm all about? Or do I go to the messenger salsam and just leave these people, go with them? They would choose to go with the messenger salsam. They would ask him, oh, Rasulullah, messenger of Allah, why would you leave? Why would you leave that gathering? It's because when we get, and he explains, وسلم, that when you get angry, when you're in these types of gatherings that serve no good purpose the angels of blessings and mercy they leave they depart from you and he's like if there's no angels there i ain't there simple as that obviously i'm paraphrasing let me ask you a question do you think there's angels of mercy and blessings when we're talking crap about each other i wonder do you think that there's angels of mercy and blessings when we're backbiting against each other when we're slandering one another Listen, we don't need no David Wood. We don't need no ex-Muslim uh, apus. We don't need these people. We are doing a good enough job slandering each other. The truth about Omar Suleiman, who knows the truth about Omar Suleiman? Who? According to Omar bin Khattab, an, it's his neighbor. It's someone who lives with them, someone who's traveled with him. Have any of us done of those things? I've spoken with him in a group. I'll, I'll show you that clip right now. Think about yourself. Think about what's going on in your life right now privately. Allah would never test you with that unless he knew you could handle it. So Allah is using this as an opportunity to develop us, increase our ranks in Jannah, and to unite us to come under a common goal of helping each other out. Say Bismillah if that makes sense. Bismillah. If I was with him, I spoke at a gathering with, with him. That's all I know. Man, that's the bike. I have a bike over there. I, that's that's all. As much do I know him? No, I know I know as much about him as you do from social media and whatever they choose to release about themselves. But let me just give you the uh, the, the rundown, the lowdown. Okay, so Omar Suleiman went to this anti-immigration sort of um, rally, something. So already people are just like that's kufr, that's wrong, that's haram, and blah 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 blah. You know, some of you are saying that. Who's calling me? Who's calling me? I can't answer this right now. They're like, oh, he ran to that in itself is haram. So what are you even going to protest, bro? Okay, so that's one thing. He's already in the haram. He's already in the haram. <laughs> you know how you say you're in the wrong, you're in the haram. 
And then on top of that, he's with <laughs> this person. You see, this is what happens. When you go to these protests, people from all walks of life come. You understand? You can't control who goes to these protests. So obviously the LGBTQ community was strong over there. They come through and I'm laughing because it's pretty funny if you think about it. If you think about it, it's pretty funny because like this is the lands that we live on. Like people are free to do whatever they want. One of my students had identified themselves to be trans. What, what can I do besides respect your, your wishes about that? It's just, it is what it is, right? And um, they, they were doing this ritual. I'll be honest with you. When when I saw Omar Suleiman doing this ritual where he's like pouring out something, pouring out something over here, right? Um, I was just like, I honestly thought he was pouring it out for the homies. You know how you ever seen this video where they're like pouring out, pouring one out for the homies? I thought that's what Omar Suleiman was doing. People were just like, he's doing some Christian ritual. He's with these LGBT communities. He's a supporter of it. And the interesting thing is, and I recommend everyone check out this documentary. It's called uh, The Social Dilemma or something like that. It's on Netflix. Go check it out. It talks about how the algorithm studies you and your patterns. So if you watch, and probably with this video right now, there's going to be some either anti Omar Suleiman videos to pop up after that. It might be from some very popular YouTubers or speakers right because these algorithms don't know what they're promoting they just want to promote like content like that so let's suppose you watch a video about how Omar Suleiman is doing something haram and they're 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 doing these wrong things the next video is gonna be about Mufti Mank did this Mufti Mank has said this Mufti Mank truly exposed oh Noman Ali Khan did this oh this one exposed oh someone did because that's what the algorithm does. A sister messaged me with this post. Look, look what Omar Suleiman did. I said, listen, I don't really know much about it. And then that same sister messages me a day later and just says, look what Mufti Menk has done. I said, that's the algorithm. It's promoting because it's taking down those lines. And I'm not suggesting that people aren't doing wrong things. People can make mistakes or perhaps we can interpret what they did incorrectly. Let's give them a chance to explain themselves. But... The, the truth of the matter is that these algorithms work to continue to take you down that rabbit hole. And a lot of you know what I'm talking about. A lot of us have been on those 3 a.m., 4 a.m. binge watch of some Illuminati video, right? And all you see is Illuminati, Illuminati, more videos like that, more videos like that. And it just takes you down this rabbit hole. That's what it's designed to do. So those who are on one side of the argument stay on that side of argument. And they believe they are correct. It's scary. Some of you seeing my intro already put a divide. Some of you have only watched that first 15 to 20 seconds and said, Astaghfirullah SQ, how dare you? Some of you said, yes SQ, finally I've been saying this the whole time and they're not going to even watch the rest of the video. YouTube knows this. It keeps you deluded. It keeps you deluded. Why are you worried about what Omar Suleiman is doing? Have you benefited from any of his videos? Have you benefited from anything that he's done in this Ramadan videos? If the answer is yes, mashallah. You don't got to follow him. Just watch his video and move on with your life. I don't know what rituals he's doing. I thought he was pouring out for the homies. The, the, the real issue is that you have too much time on your hands. Too much time on your hands to do this type of research. But ask you, why are you making a video about it? Because I want to make a video about it. I make daily videos. This is the next video I'm making about it. The truth about Omar Suleiman. Omar Suleiman shows us true colors. You might have like a, a title where it's him over there pouring it out. Maybe the LGBTQ flag in the back. Who knows? I might. <clears throat> There's people who have made a living by downgrading other people. People who have built their platforms. And the scary part and the sad part is that this video is probably going to get a lot more views than my regular videos get. And I would argue those are far more beneficial. But the problem is that we like the tea. We like the trauma. And I'm not proud. And look, I, and this is coming from someone who's obviously, I've made commentary videos about other people. I've done that. So I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. I'm saying that if your commentary videos are not somehow shedding a positive light on things or perhaps a bigger message for the people and is downplaying the other people, then you're literally building your platform by tearing other people down. And there's two ways for you to build the biggest building, isn't there? There's one for you to compete toe-to-toe -to -toe against the other person who's building the tallest building and keep upping them and keep building your bu a building bigger than theirs, or to tear down their building so that your building looks like the largest. I appreciate you guys watching. This was a shorter video. I hope you guys appreciated, benefited, and enjoyed this video. If you did any of those things or felt any of those things, then...
good for you. Make a dua for me. I think I'd appreciate that more than you subscribing or hitting the like button. I appreciate you so much. Watch some of these other videos I have over here. I think you'll enjoy them. Um, that's all I got right now. I'm at school right now. I'm at the school right now, and people are like smoking over there. Bro. Like, come on, bro. It's a school. But anyways, I'm out. I'm gonna probably go speak to them and stuff like that. But uh, until next time, I'm out.